Well, hi there, it's me again. Uh, I thought I'd uh, scan this old carburetor here. I uh, have an old outboard from about 1948 or 49 that I bought with the idea I would restore it. And I never did, but it sure looks like a good scan subject. It's aluminum body, a few steel parts here and there that have rusted. Um, I didn't spray much except for the uh, steel parts, the shiny parts. Try to get them visible. But I uh, wanted to compare a PC Windows 11 scan, which is what we're seeing here. You see, I collected uh, quite a few. I had, think I had 42 million points on this one. I don't know how many frames. Oh yeah, I do. It's It was... Uh, Geez, I think it was about 2,200 frames or no, it was about 3,000 frames, roughly 3,000 frames, let's say, because I did go in and do some some touch up and some of that was mistracking and uh, it still counts as frames and even though it's not part of the model, so I don't know how that works out, but anyway, uh, the point is my phone can handle it and my PC can handle it and my actually my tablet, I have a tablet that can handle it too, so I had posted some of those. I didn't fill holes because we really don't care about the holes. Uh, I was mainly looking for the quality of the scan. You see it picked up those shiny parts. Not too bad. There we have the Mini with my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. 12 gig of RAM in the phone. So it does quite well. It has a multi-core processor. I think it's a quad core if I'm not mistaken. But I bought it specifically to use with my scanners since I have <laughs> I have several scanners. I have uh, six altogether if you count the uh, the competitor, the, the uh, Scan Lizard. I have one of those too. But and I might do a comparison scan with the Scan Lizard. Everybody's bragging about it. They've changed the software two or three times, and I haven't really kept up with it. So I have to get back on it and see what they're doing. But there you have it, a comparison scan, an old vintage carburetor, almost as old as I am, on the Mini.